You can't keep me here. This is for your own good, Wayne. I mean, Alf. You're in big trouble, mister. You're gonna go to jail for this. You may never get out. And if you do, just try getting insurance. <laughs> please, please, Alf, just, just try to calm down and maybe, maybe things will start coming back to you. I don't wanna calm down. I'm a high energy salesman. How do you think I made the million dollar club? <laughs> Look around you, Alf, doesn't any of this seem familiar to you? Is that what this is all about? Did I have an affair with your wife too? <laughs> Morning. Hey, I'm sorry. One thing just led to another, Willie. No, no, no. I think we can be reasonably sure that that did not happen. In fact, at first, the two of you didn't even really... She detested you. What's going on out there? Nothing. Just screaming. Move out of the way. No problem. Let me put it this way, Willie. I don't think this is going to work out. I'll take care of it. Everything's fine. Everything's under control. Interesting concept. So we straighten that out. I didn't have an affair with your wife. Now, if you'll just give me my pants. I can't let you leave. Look, if the plan is to hold me for ransom, you could forget about it. My company has a policy of not negotiating with terrorists. <laughs> we do, however, have some other policies you might be interested in, really. In fact, I could set you up with a whole life. How old are you? I'm 45. Hmm, 45. <laughs> We better act fast. I could set you up with a whole life policy that will benefit you and your family for years to come. Just think about this, Willie. Oh, uh, hello, Dr. Schneckmeyer. Uh, yeah, uh, listen, uh, doctor, it seems that a, a house guest of ours has uh, uh, come down with amnesia. No, we can't bring him in. Uh, listen, isn't there some kind of, you know, home remedy we can try, you know, uh, breathing into a paper bag or... What? What does he say to do? Hit him on the head with a rolling pin. <laughs> no, I don't think that's funny. No, I don't watch the Three Stooges. <laughs> You're right, I should. Uh, listen, doctor, I, I think we'll try the hospital. Yes, I, I'm sure he has insurance. Bye-bye. <laughs> should I get the rolling pin? <laughs> no. We can't hit him on the head with a rolling pin. At least we shouldn't. And we certainly can't take him to the hospital. So we're stuck having an insurance agent living in our laundry room. Why does Alf keep doing things like this? Oh, Mom, it's not like this is his fault. He's like a three-year-old. You have to keep your eye on him constantly. <gasps> so, how was the shower? Look at this What place. in the world? Alf, what are you doing in my dress? Sorry, I thought it was Lynn's. <laughs> You've really done it this time. Any semblance of faith or trust I had in you is gone. Willie, my jewelry box is missing. So are my good gold cufflinks. And my good watch. And my antique cameo. Where are they? Probably being pawned. The police are here. What'd you do, Alf? Sure. Blame the guy in the dress. No, don't make a sound. Stay right here. And take off that dress. All right, but I feel it only fair to warn you. I'm not wearing anything underneath. <laughs> Willie, my man, I gotta tell you, this thing flies like the wind. Where are you? Where? What happened? I don't know. All I did was turn the engine on. Before I knew it, I was on the freeway. <laughs> what freeway? The one headed for Oxnard. Nice move, buddy. Yeah, you're another one! Alf, Alf, pull off the road. Pull the car off the road. I can't. I'm in the fast lane. Although you'd never know it by the way these clowns are driving. Come on, lady! This ain't a parade! Alf, don't yell at the other drivers. They'll see you. No way. I'm driving too fast. Hey, ever hear a turn signal? Just look, Alf, listen to me. 
Look at the road signs. Try to find out. Look at exactly where you are. Well, uh, I just passed the Motel 6. Hey, they're having a beekeeper's convention. Ouch! Ow! 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 Oh, gotta go! Yo, can you hold this wire while I turn on the juice? Sure. Right there. Oh, that's my short wave radio! <laughs> Do you know how long I... Long. It took me ten years to put that thing together. I'm glad to see you haven't wasted your life. First the phone, and now the radio. Whoa, 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 what about the phone? You're on it all the time. Fine. First I can't use the radio. Now I can't use the phone. What next? The curling iron? Your toothbrush? You use my toothbrush? Yours is the green one, right? It was. William Tanner? Yes? I got a delivery here for you from the Terry Faith Company. Hold it. Wait just a minute. I'm not signing anything. No signatures necessary. This was all paid for over the phone. I'll be back with the rest when I get a bigger truck. $4,000. Yep, that matches my total. Alf, how were you able to purchase $4,000 with a makeup? Plastic. I put it on your visa. Oh, incidentally, you're over your limit. Never mind the curtains. Put me out. Well, we did get new curtains. The other curtains were new curtains. Maybe we can get Wayne to give us ALF insurance. Before we moved offices, we must have only had maybe 12, 1,500 square feet. We were literally packed in there like sardines. <laughs> Boy, that place was so small, I had to go into Sadowski's office to change my mind. <laughs> Where are you going with that? I thought Mr. Schlegel might want a snack. <sighs> <laughs> of course, in our new place... Oh, by the way, did I give you a business card? In the new place, the traffic flow is much better. And we've got a men and a woman's restroom. Yeah. Oh, the underwriters are pretty happy about that. Boy, they sure are. I've never seen them so... Are you listening, Willie? You know, I liked you better as an alien. You were annoying, but you were never boring. <laughs> oh, hi, Bri. I brought you a snack, Mr. Schlegel. At least somebody has compassion. <laughs> What is this junk? Your favorite food, donuts and brownies. What are you trying to do, kill me? I'll have you know I've got a very delicate stomach. Uh. <laughs> nice meal, Kate. Even though the portions were extremely small. Sorry, we only had one pot roast. <laughs> While you two get these holidays straightened out, I think I'll just go make breakfast. Not necessary. I already made breakfast. Sloppy Joes and fiberglass. <laughs> There's hair in this tuna fish. I like it. You must be hungry. Oh. You didn't even say grace. Grace. <laughs> For something wrong? You didn't eat all the cat food too, did you? No way. I draw the line at intestinal byproducts. Take this food away, son. I'm not eating till you let me go. Oh. What am I going to do? I know. What if I, what if I show you a mirror? All right, maybe I need a shave. <laughs> Is this the face of an insurance agent? Yeah. All right. I'm no Bert Sadowski, but 
then Bert Sadowski's not in the Million Dollar Club. This isn't, you're not an insurance agent. You're an alien. Can't you see that? Listen, Willie, what do you want from me? You obviously don't want a policy. I want you to get your memory back. Is that it? Okay. Hey, hey, it's coming back to me now. It's like a veil being lifted. I'm, I'm an alien. Yeah, that's what I am. And I'm from the planet, uh, Millsap. Mel Mac. Fine, can I have my pants now? You're not gonna leave here. Hey, we had a deal, Willie. I'm sorry, you're just going to have to trust me. It's far too dangerous for you out there. Mrs. Tyler, we've received an anonymous tip that you might be harboring a space creature. A space creature? Yes. Harry, about three feet tall. Is, uh, is he considered dangerous? Hard to tell until we get in the lab. And, um, what would you do with him if you did get him, you know, in the lab? The usual battery of tests. We'll see how it responds to intense heat, freezing cold, high voltage, toxic substances, pain, sleep deprivation, inoculation. That's needles. And, of course, dissection. Why don't you just pull its toenails out? You didn't let me finish. You know what that is? It's an anteater. Are you sure? Yeah, and it's against a lot of shoot anteaters. <laughs> what are you talking about? You could shoot anteaters. <laughs> I don't care what he is. I'm gonna take him out and butcher him. <gasps> Why do you always get to do all the butchering? Because you usually end up mutilating all the good meat. <laughs> I'll get the chainsaw. You make the salad. <laughs> Trevor, is there such a thing as a cross between a kangaroo and an aardvark? Ah, stop putting yourself down. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about that thing staring at me from that bathroom window. What? I don't see nothing. Well, it was there a second ago, and I think it was shaving. Yeah, right. And I'm Sean Penn. <laughs> All right, let's see if I'm following this, Willie. There are people out there who want to hurt me. So, so you're protecting me by locking me naked in your bedroom and feeding me sugar. Something like that. I'm gonna go find Kate and see if she's found anyone to help you. Yeah, see if she can find any help for you! <laughs> it's obvious I'm not gonna make this sale. 